Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Pixel 2 XL Android 11 review. Some of you guys have been asking me to make a video about Android 11 on the Pixel 2 XL, so here we go. So far, the Pixel 2 XL is running great on Android 11, even though this is the last OS update for the Pixel 2 XL. What this means is that you're not gonna get Android 11 next year. I mean to say Android 12, you get the idea. You're not gonna get Android 12 next year when that drop for the Pixel 3, Pixel 3a, Pixel 4, Pixel 4 XL, and Pixel 5. So this is your last update for the Pixel 2 XL Android 11. Android 11 been running great on the Pixel 2 XL like I said earlier. There's no lag, there's no hiccups. It's just smooth as butter. No problem at all. I know some people having battery issues on the Pixel 2 XL, but for me, it's basically stay the same as Android 11. I made to say Android 10, so I can't complain. So, the power button change on Android 11 on the Pixel 2 XL, this is what it looks like. You can also use Google Pay. If you add your payment, you can pay things with Google Pay if you wish to do that on the very top. From the power menu, you got your emergency, you got your power off, and you got your restart. So that's nice. Google make it easy. You got multiple choices. Once you press the power button, you got emergency, power off, restart, and you got your Google Pay right there from the get-go. So that's awesome. Now, this is what the volume up, and this is what the volume down look like. They basically stay the same. So once you press the volume up or volume down, you can mute the phone, you can put the phone on vibrate, or you can silent it all together. That's awesome. Also, while you on the volume thing, you can go straight to the volume settings. It's a sound, media volume, call volume, rank notification volume, and your alarm volume. You got done, and you got more. If I go to more, just like so, you can see you get more customization for your volume sound you got vibrate for calls do not disturb live captions your media shortcut to prevent ringtones you also got advanced if i tap on that you got more options you know stuff like that if i press and hold on the home screen you got your wallpapers now there's no new wallpapers with android 11 Everything been basically the same since Android 9, I believe, so nothing to worry about. If I go to widgets, you guys know what widgets are. Just hold it, drag it on your home screen to have the widgets on your phone. Just hold it and drag it like so. And you can see here I got the clock widgets on my Pixel 2 XL home screen, right? If I go back, go to settings. I'm using the Nova launcher, that's why you see the uh, home button in the center. So if you're not using Nova launcher, you will get the gestures like when you swap up, you go to the app drawer, and when you swap down, you bring it back. So I'm using Nova launcher, this is why it look like a Pixel 1 or Nexus devices. And of course, Google Assistant works great on Pixel 2 XL on Android 11. If I tap and hold on it, you can see you bring Google Assistant. So let me go ahead and ask it a couple of questions and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So let me try over, make sure my volume is up and uh, let's talk to Google Assistant. What's the weather like in Chicago? Right now in Chicago, Illinois, it's 50 degrees and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 54 and a low of 40. Who is Michael Jackson? Who is Barack Obama? Okay, you don't want to talk, that's fine. Who made you? Okay, Google Assistant, keep playing with me. How old are you? I was launched in 2016, so I'm pretty young. Did you think I was older? 
oh now you wanna talk huh but as you can see guys google assistant works really well sometimes it does not want to talk i don't know why i'm not sure why google assistant won't talk sometime but for the most part i can say 97 to 98 percent of the time when you ask google assistant something it always talk to you so that's awesome so yeah google assistant is still the best around bixby sucks and siri is okay microsoft cortana is okay google assistant is the best so if i go to settings you got your network and internet on the very top you got a search button where you can search for anything instead of just looking through it if i go to battery this is what the battery graphs look like on android 11 on the pixel 2 xl and if i go back go to display you got your brightness level you got your dark theme of course that's been available since android 10 i think you got your adaptive brightness you got your style and wallpapers you can customize the wallpapers that's been available since android 10 so nothing new there you got advanced if i go to advanced you got colors you still got natural boosted and saturated you got your lock screen let's go back and let's go back if i go to privacy you got your permission manager you got a notification on lock screen you can show all the contents when your lock screen is off or you can show nothing at all so you got the choice you got advanced you can personalize your using app data you can out of air service from google what this means is that if you're visiting some websites often google will gonna go ahead and automatically fill your information like your address your name and your phone number you get the idea so let's go back if i go to about device you can see if i go to android 11 and boom shakalaka i am on android 11 like so so there you go so if i swap down like that you got your wi-fi bluetooth you got your do not disturb mode got your flashlight of course once i tap on the flashlight that socket will turn down you got your rotation lock switch i got the battery saver we got mobile data airplane mode and your night light so if i'm playing the music the uh, screen or graphs will actually show if you're playing music or listening to radio it will show like a graph or an image once you swap down on the notification panel so that's cool you can actually play it or pause it right there from the get-go you can also customize the uh, settings just the way you wish from the lock screen you can see the uh, settings icon right there on the right side if i tap on it it'll go straight to the settings that's awesome and of course if you got a notification on android 11 on the pixel 2 xl this is what they're gonna look like for instance the google trust that i've been using i can stop it from showing on my notification or i can go to settings just like so and turn that socket off so that's cool the camera basically stay the same as android 10 so nothing new we still got the night sight mode portrait mode camera mode video mode and we still got more on the more we got panorama photosphere slow motion time lapse playground or lens nothing changed with the camera on android 11 on the pixel 2 everything remained the same so no lag no issues no hiccups even though i'm not using the original pixel launcher i'm using the nova launcher because of the home screen I don't like too much swiping. I prefer the on-screen button like I'm using right now. Good battery life. It's smooth as butter. But one thing to keep in mind is that you're not going to get Android 12 next year. Android 11 is your last update on the Pixel 2 XL. So yeah, that's it guys. I'm out. Peace.